Right now at 530, we are digging deeper into the push to reclassify marijuana as a less dangerous drug. That proposal would move the drug from a Schedule 1 to a Schedule 3 classification. So what does that mean and what is actually changing? News for Jack's I-Team investigator Tiffany Salome takes a closer look at how this affects criminal cases and the federal decriminalization of pot. It's a significant and historic shift for the cannabis industry. The DEA plans to reclassify marijuana as less dangerous and less addictive. And I think this is the government catching up to sort of the, the popular opinion. Pete Gallagher is CEO of INSA Cannabis. The company sells both medical and recreational marijuana to its customers across the country, including right here in Jacksonville. It does a lot to change the perception and the stigma around cannabis. Um, and it is, you know, it's a, it's a product that when you look at the risk benefit profile of it, it's um, it, it's very favorable. And I think it can help a lot of people enhance their lives. Moving marijuana from a schedule one to a schedule three drug would place it in the same category as anabolic steroids, ketamine and Tylenol with codeine. It can be lawfully prescribed as medication. It was previously in the same category as heroin and cocaine. The reclassification really means nothing for consumers in Florida. You'll still need a medical card to buy marijuana in a shop like this one. But the big shift here is that the DEA is recognizing that marijuana can be used for medical purposes. Things like managing anxiety, pain or insomnia. Hopefully people that uh, were afraid of it because it was classified as having no medical benefit or and a high risk of, uh, of abuse, similar to a drug like heroin, uh, may now look at it as a viable uh, therapeutic option for them to help enhance their lives. It's not going to impact anybody who is currently in jail or is being prosecuted for possession of marijuana at any form of federal or state level. Jacksonville so defense attorney Gene Nichols says the reclassification the won't impact criminal cases. He's defended people with drug charges, including possession and trafficking of marijuana. Bringing it from this schedule one down to a schedule three will allow the government to start incrementally fixing everything that needs to be fixed and changed in order to get to the point sooner or later that there'll be decriminalization at the federal level. The proposal won't legalize marijuana for recreational use or decriminalize the drug. Schedule three drugs are still controlled substances. But the reclassification opens the doors to federal legalization and research opportunities that were not possible before. Reporting in Jacksonville, Tiffany Salome, Channel 4, The Local Station.